Today I want to show you how to knit this super fun and funky garter stitch asymmetrical shawl. It is a really super easy pattern to work so if you're a beginner please don't be put off by the fact that it's a shawl. I know that some shawls can be a bit daunting but this one really isn't. I've knit this for my daughter so it's slightly smaller than adult size but I used 100 grams of double knit yarn and I used this really cute little rainbow cake that she picked out but if you're knitting for an adult you'd probably want to use 200 grams of double knit yarn in whatever shade you like and if you're wanting something floatier or thicker then this pattern works in any weight yarn to knit this shawl you are going to need some circular needles about 80 centimeters will be enough and you're going to need yarn in the appropriate weight and shade that you want to use i use double knit yarn but don't let that stop you from using any yarn you like so without further ado let's jump in and get knitting this shawl to start your shawl you want to cast on five stitches as i'm using double knit yarn i'm using four millimeter needles but you would want to use the correct size needles for the weight of yarn that you have chosen to use i like to cast on using the long tail method but please don't let that stop you from using your preferred cast on method they will all work the beauty of this shawl is that it is a two row repeat for all the way until your shawl is the size that you want it until you are ready to cast off on the cast off row i make one tiny tweak but that is the only row that you will work differently to the two row repeat that i'm going to show you now so you want to knit the first four stitches of this row and then into the fifth stitch you want to work a knit front back increase and we work that by starting the stitch as normal and going through and picking up a loop but not dropping the stitch from our left hand needle swing your needle back round and go back into the stitch from front to back and pull up another loop and at that point you can take your left hand needle out and you'll see that you've increased from five stitches to six stitches so that is row one of our two row repeat. For row two, you want to knit the first two stitches. And then we're going to work a different kind of increase. We are going to work a yarn over increase and that is as simple as yarning over. So you pop the yarn over your right hand needle and hold it there. And then you want to knit until the last two stitches. For the last two stitches you want to knit them together and you want to knit them together through the back loops so we're going to go into both stitches as if we were going to purl pull up a loop and knit those two together and you will see here we've got our two stitches that we knitted we yarned over to increase a stitch and then we've knit two more and then knit two together so on this row row two we don't actually end up increasing any stitches you can see that we've increased one and decreased one and that is what builds the asymmetrical shape because you are only working your increases at this end of your work let's just go over those two rows a couple more times so that they're really stuck in your brain row one knit until the last stitch And in the last stitch, you want to knit front, knit back. So it's a knit front back increase. And you will increase by one stitch. So we've gone from six stitches to seven. Row two, you want to knit the first two stitches. Work a yarn over increase. Knit until the last two stitches. And then knit those two stitches together through the back loops and on this row we have increased one and decreased one so we should end up with the same amount of stitches and already in this really tiny piece of knitting you can see that it's starting to form that asymmetrical shape let's do those two rows together one last time for row one of your two row repeat you want to knit until the final stitch And then you want to knit the last stitch as a knit front back increase. So you knit the front of the stitch, swing round to the back, 
and knit through the back of the stitch. So we are turning one stitch into two. Row two of your two row repeat, you knit the first two stitches, yarn over to create an increase, and then knit until the last two stitches. And then for the last two stitches, you want to knit them together through the back loops. And you will work those two rows as many times as you want until your shawl is as big as you want. For an idea of how big you want your shawl to be as an adult size, when you measure it from tip to tip of the triangular edges with these yarn over increases here, you're looking for something that is about 150 centimeters. Depending on the weight and thickness of your yarn, your depth will vary, but if you aim for something that's about 150 centimeters long, that's the size that you are going to be looking for. So go away now, knit those rows as many times as you need to. I'll make this sample a little bit bigger so we can easily see what it's growing to be and that will also make it easier for me to show you how we cast off. You can see that once your shawl starts growing it gets this lovely little self-bordering effect so on your long edge of your asymmetrical triangle you get these really cute little eyelets that are created by your yarn over and then on the other opposite edge where you've been working your knit two togethers you get this lovely little bobbly type border and then on this edge, this is the edge that will continue to grow as you work your project. And this is the edge that you want to cast off on. I like to cast off at the beginning of a row where I would normally yarn over because you get a nice row of stitches after the previous yarn over. But on the cast off row, I skip the yarn over increase and I also skip the knit two together decrease. I have a more in-depth cast off video if you'd like to go and watch that if this is completely new to you then you feel free to do so but we are going to work a basic knitted cast off on this edge to finish off our shawl and we do that by knitting the first two stitches lifting the first stitch over the second stitch knitting another stitch lifting that stitch over the stitch you've just knitted so you should never have more than two stitches on your right hand needle. You want to knit and lift all the way along. And that gives you a lovely neat cast off edge and removes your work from your needles to bring it to a finished item. When you've cast off all the way along and you have this one loop left on your right hand needle, you can break your yarn and then pull up this loop to make it slightly bigger and remove your knitting needle. You don't need that anymore. And then just to give a nice secure finish, I like to lift the yarn tail through that larger loop and pull on it to give it a nice tighten. And then you would go ahead and sew in your ends using your preferred method. And there we go, two rows over and over produce a really beautiful but super simple shawl. I loved making this and I hope you do too. Just one quick final tip when you are measuring your shawl for the length that you want it to be, measure along this eyelet edge here because that is your longest edge. So that is the edge that you're going to gauge your size on. That's all from me for this week. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again for another one soon. Bye.